All right, here we go. It's uh, class number 11, packet five. Um, we're going to talk a little gold standard today, and then we'll talk about the hallway, what happened in the hallway um, with the um, launching. Now, I've got a video of it, some pictures and a video, it's about the best I can do. So, uh, okay. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, don't forget um, that uh, tomorrow is flex day for school. It doesn't affect us. We're still 1.10 to 2 o'clock. Uh, it probably won't go to 2 o'clock tomorrow. But we'll just try and start always at the same time, 1.10 no matter what. But tomorrow, uh, we'll be going over the test. So I'll be going over the black problems in the test. And I'm not still not sure which ones. I know there's two, three at least that are black. Um, could be a fourth, perhaps, but that would be unprecedented. Anyway, so you, the way you'll do it tomorrow is you'll have your test, either a PDF, go ahead and print that out, and you'll correct. We'll, we'll go over the black problems, and then I'm going to post a uh, recording of the blue and you can do blue off those and you have till uh you'll have till i guess friday like everybody else but you'll have friday midnight to submit let's see submit i'll figure that out but the point is that tomorrow you'll have to have your your paper with you so you can go over it with me uh the black ones and those are full credit back. So you go, well, I mean, you have, you say, okay, I have my original. I do, I have your original. And you go, I don't know if I did that right or wrong. I don't remember what I did. Okay, well then just do it again. And that way you're covered if you miss something, okay? Uh, and that same goes with blue. Remember black though, full credit and blue is half. So we'll get the black part out of the way tomorrow. I'll, I'll tell you which ones are blue and then you can rework those or not if you don't want to but then friday um i guess i'll have you submit probably to canvas the that always gets confusing for wayne class kids they seem even though it says you know virtual only they still that we do we have to submit the no so but the tell you the truth email is really difficult just random emails everywhere is nuts so probably going to have you submit it so it's more organized uh, by Friday at midnight. Okay. And then I'll grade that. I'll grade that and I have your original and then I'll combine the grades and make that your score out of 300. This is incredibly cumbersome for virtual, <laughs> but it's the way we do it in class and I'm trying to make it the same. Also on Friday, I'll hand out, I'll have available to you the second um, set of you have your first set of practice problems, which is right here. You have these, and though you have PDF of them anyway. I don't think I ever put any on my porch. Um, I might have, might have put some on my porch. But anyway, you have, if you have a printer and all, uh, hopefully you can, you do, but I'll look for, I will make a note to put these on my porch. Uh, and that's not due until, that's not due at all. I mean, it, it's, it's optional, right? So you, you can, you, but you want it, but the thing is, uh, I'll make it so you submit them and you'll submit them next Friday, not this Friday, but the next Friday right for spring break. And you'll get some points for those up to three points per, up to three points per problem. So that's what's out there. That's what's going on. Um, okay. And let's get on to today's topic. Uh, to keep up with the class, you'd have to have um five three one and three done so you should be totally done uh with five three now in fact i've posted a key so check that we're not going to submit that one but the key's posted on the facebook group uh, we did joke monday in class because we got blocked yesterday we got around the block today all right so what we have left to do is two main things we're going to do the, we're going to work number six on five, five. So get out five, five. 
number six. Now I have a, I have some extra packets on the front porch. If you're not, don't want to print those off or you're having printing issues. And I got those, we might set those out. So don't forget to put them out there. Yeah, here they are. I got a few more left. Oh, that's the original copy. Oops. I know there should be some out there um, for you if you need them. Okay. Well, nobody came this morning. I was hoping a few of you would come by and do the lab with my kids, with the, with the in-class kids today in the hallway. But, you know, we all got schedules. And the fact that you probably have other classes, so I get it, why you, why you didn't. But I was hoping to see some of you today. Uh, you could still do it again on Thursday. Thursday, we're going back to the hallway. We'll, in fact, we'll spend most of the hour Thursday in the hallway. Um, all right. This time we're getting actual points, bonus points. And that's something, I don't know how to recreate that for uh, virtual kids. Anyway, uh, so let's, first we work number six. And the, I wanted to work six, it's gold standard. It's always good to practice that. And so I had them all go to the board. So let's at first do our in class, do our together stuff, what we did, and then I'll put it on pause and let you guys work on this for a little while. All right, so uh, we, it is the range equation, which we have learned. And so first thing is the required label drawing. You do need to have anything that's in here needs to be on that. I'm gonna be a little more particular on that one on the next test. There will be one of these in the test next week. I promise you that. We haven't had to worry about these for a while. Now they're back. No, they're no harder than they were though. They're just, they always stay the same difficulty level. Good thing about them. Delta X is 550 feet. Blow it up a little bit. And the angle is 15 degrees. And we're supposed to find out what is the launch velocity, what is or called the muzzle velocity. And that's what we did in the hallway. Not this same problem, but we did one like this. Okay, so it's going to come up and it's a type 2A, which means it's going to take off and land at the same elevation. So as far as symbol equations go, we already have the symbol thoughts. We already wrote, we already, in this case, we already knew the equation. That's where you try and determine your equation. But we still have to isolate the variable. We did this yesterday. Here's our work from yesterday. Uh, so we already isolated the variable V0. And so V0 will be the scroot. Of delta, delta X times G all over sine two theta. And, uh, you know, a little hint, hint. Uh, well, then you'll see that there's one of these on the next set of practice problems. Remember, I'm, I'm trying to be very generous to those that are doing the practice problems. So keep that in mind. Delta X G one over sine two theta. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the recorder off and give you some time to work on that on your own. See how far you can get. And then we'll come back together. So I've given the givens there, put those in the right place. And we want to end up in uh, we want to end up in kilometers per hour uh but uh this is the square root so we got to um, we have to scrute everything there around the whole thing so big huge square root symbol and so that means that under the radical we're going to end up in kilometers squared over hours squared so we can square root it so let's, uh, whatever, low-hanging fruit. I know I'm going to need those hours squared. So I'll have, at some point, 3,600 squared, seconds squared, over hours squared. And that gets my hours squared on bottom. 
bring up my green kill pin, second squared, second seconds, okay? Now I see I have feet squared on top there when I multiply the 550 times 32.2. So let's go ahead and do uh, 5280 oh, squared, feet squared under miles squared. But I wanna end up in kilometers per hour. So I'm gonna use all, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't end up, some students did, some didn't. Um, I didn't end up using that. So on the, on the test, I'll give you the conversions and pretty much every conversion I give you, I don't give you a bunch of extra ones. I just give you the ones you need. And if you end up finishing the problem and you didn't use a conversion, you probably screwed up. Okay, uh, kill, kill that, kill the two feet. And then finally we have 1.6 squared kilometers squared over miles squared, double slash. And uh, I'll circle the kilometers. I wanna keep that. I wanna keep the kilometer squared and the hour squared so I can square root them. Miles I'll kill, miles squared. And it looks like everything's good. So you should end up with 207. If you get 197, I think you're doing it right, but somewhere there's a conversion or there's some round off error somewhere. I mean, it's not that big a difference. You're within 5%, but. Okay, so your homework, we're gonna move on to something else, but your homework, uh, you can solve that later, but your homework is this, to work on number one to stay up with class, just do number one. I'm checking theirs tomorrow. And of course, the practice problems on 5A, first set. I'm trying to limit the amount of homework because I know you got those practice problems. So instead of assigning you two or three problems, assign you one. Got to keep making progress. Okay, so now the rest of the hour, we went out to the hallway and we're launching, um, the whole point today, and I'm going to rewrite this thing this summer. It's really a two-day lab. Um, we try. We used to try and do it all in one day, but it got so confusing for students. So all we're doing today, and all we did today in the hallway was this first paragraph. This paragraph here, and we're trying to solve for my muzzle velocity on each one of these. Now these I used to have these cheap wooden ones. Uh, they're like wooden dowels came out. Let me take, let me turn the stop share off. All right, stop share. So you used to have one of these uh, really cheap ones. Um, you know, they were like homemade jobs and they gave the worst data, it's awful. So these, I said, okay, one thing I wanna make sure I do, and this is a 10 years ago, was to start to get, so I slowly wrote grants and got, um, I get two or three a year. And now I have 11. So you pull these back all the way, you let them go. Okay, and then it shoots out these little magic little marbles. They're really bouncy. And so uh, they're just the right weight. They come out really, really well. They go a long way. So they go way down the hall, about 30 feet. Okay. And so you, they, I let them pick what angle, whatever, whatever angle they wanted between 30 and 50. Sometimes if you go to like 45, it'll go up and hit the ceiling in the hallway. And so you can't do that. So you had to kind of find it. So you're trying to get a good range. And then the thing is it has to, to do a range equation it has to be um, type 2A, which means that the, if we just had to hit the ground, that would be type 2B because there's a delta Y there. So we don't want a delta Y. So they had to come down and hit a sack of books and had a bunch of books set out there for them. So let me um, show you pictures and I think a video and some of them took videos, but they're not in yet. Let me share the screen with some of my, some of my, uh, what are we at? Some of my pictures. Nope. Good grief. Hold on. Um, hmm. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, let me share the screen here. Because we don't want that. Okay, so 
here we go. That doesn't tell you much, but they're they're sitting in the hallway up and down the north south hallway and see he's shooting uh, into that's how far these things go. And then there they're measuring. So once they once they finally hit the top of the books, then it has at the top, not the front of the books, it's at the top of the books. And there's our ping pong table. We set that up at lunch. We play ping pong. Uh, so it hits the top of the books, and then you measure from there, from the barrel to there. Uh, is this a video? Here's a video. Oh. We usually have a lot of it is chasing balls around. <laughs> you guys see this? Yeah, I'm sharing this. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's the idea. Um, okay, and then, then some were pretty smart. They set the little books up right there so it wouldn't, they weren't chasing the balls as much, uh, but then they kept adjusting the angle to get it so it hit just the top of those books. And then that gives us a, um, that gives us a V naught and not muzzle velocity. And then we're not gonna use the range equation on Thursday. On Thursday, if you look at 5.4, it's gonna to switch to a type 2B, where they're launching from the table onto the floor or the floor onto the table. I'm gonna rewrite this thing this summer, but uh, here's, the, here's the possibilities. Okay, I did rewrite some of this, good, 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 good. Okay, so there's, there's the, what the launch are gonna to do tomorrow, uh, Thursday, tomorrow's black day. Um, okay, so Thursday, would love to see you there in the morning if you can, I know your schedule, if you can't, that's fine. Um, and then that's where you get the points up to 18. So we have these huge targets and we'll take video of it, but these huge targets we shoot on, onto tables or off tables. And if they hit those and then you can do all the measurements. So first you gotta do all the math. So one thing you'll have to do is still go ahead and do the math there. You'll have to pick one of these groups, but we'll worry about this on Thursday. And then you'll do all the math and then you have to plot the, the, uh, duet and the trio that goes with it. Okay, so since we can't go out in the hallway, that's probably about it for us. Uh, any questions about tomorrow? So just get a test. Uh, will I record it? Will I record it? I don't know why I wouldn't. Um, yeah, uh, I may not because I think I'll just record me doing all the blacks and blues. You know, so anyway, okay. So I guess that's it. Unless you want to stick around for a question, I guess you're free to go and we'll hit it tomorrow. Mr. Adley. Yeah. So on 5.3, I had a question on number three. Yeah. Uh, so for Delta Y on the trio. Mm -hmm. it, I got a number that's like over the graph. Okay. So I wonder if I was wrong or right. 5.3. Okay. Here's my 5.3. So I got 1.07 for the time. Is that what you got? Uh, yeah. Okay. So once we have that, then I just came back in and plugged in uh, the 1.7. Oh, you're not seeing my screen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me show my screen. Are we still recording? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. All right, so um, here we go. So then I plug, I got that 1.7 using blue quad. And this key, by the way, is posted on the Facebook group. Uh, and then I plugged that 1.7 back in up to the Delta X and that gave me 25 feet. Um, and then for this one, I started here at zero. Uh, and then it went up to a height. I figured out the, the maximum height was the area of this yellow triangle. Looks like it's around 2.8 meters or so. And that's where I got up here and put that dot. 
and then knew that it dropped four meters below. This is similar to what we're gonna do Thursday in class uh, in the hallway. Um, yeah, so it's a skewed bow tie, but that's my work. You see where we differ? Yeah, I do, thank you. Okay, all right then, very good. So I'll see you tomorrow, I hope.